So Chris, I know you've only been here for a few days, but what can you tell me about you know, some of the things you're working on here at, at, at IMG? Um, at IMG, I've been working on a lot. I've been working on post work, I've been working on my jump shot, I've been working on my conditioning, and I got a good team around me, a good support cast, and I just got a lot of people around here to show me a lot of love, and it's make me feel good and grinding real hard. What's a typical day look like for you? Can you tell me about your schedule? Um, I wake up at 7.30, I eat breakfast, you know, I go visit the trainer, if I need to ice myself, I need ice. I go to the weight room about 8.30, and then I, I like stretch myself out, work with Steph, the trainer, and then after that, I go to the turf for about an hour and a half, two hours, and we work on a whole lot of movement, and then I come to the gym and work on my game for about an hour and a half to two hours. Um, I eat lunch, you know, go back to the room, take a hot shower, chill with some of my homies down here, and then I come back later and uh, work on my games for work and lift weights too. Right. How are the workouts here different than the workouts you had in college? Um, it's a lot more individually. Um, you got a lot of guys, man, who just gonna push you. Even, if, even when you're tired, man, you just got guys that's gonna motivate you. Just keep pushing. Everybody motivated me, helping my game out a lot. What do you need to work on the most in the next few months here leading up to the draft? Um, in the next few months, I need to continue to keep training my mind, continue to get my body ready, continue to work on my conditioning, work on my touch, work on the basic things like a little hook shot, left and right handed, and work on my jump shot. Defense. What can you tell us about why you left Florida, how that whole thing went down? I feel like I was ready, and um, I just wanted to isolate myself in my basketball. Just put everything, my whole life, just in basketball. I don't worry about waking up in the morning, going to class, and, um, going to my tutor, then having to practice and stay up. Just wake up, do what I got to do basketball wise. Don't worry about academics or anything. Some people just, you know, school really isn't for them, and they'd rather just focus on whatever their profession is. For you, that's basketball. Do you feel like uh, being able to concentrate 100% on, you know, just getting better, working on your body, all that, would that allow you to kind of have a better life balance? I think just me focus on basketball the whole time it helped me have a better life balance. I mean, it just feels good, like, working for an hour and a half, two hours, people really caring about you, showing you love, and you just feel, you just feel good after the workout. I feel good right now. Right. How do you, you know, how do you think the last the last two years played out? Did they play out kind of in the way that you thought in terms of your minutes and your role and, and, and your production at the college level? Um, I didn't play it how I wanted to, but at the end of the day, everything can go, everything can go your way. You got to work for it. So I don't, I don't really think I played it how I wanted to, but I had a good experience my freshman year, you know. Maybe I didn't play much and I came in late, but I went to the final four. You know, you just learn. And I come in my second year, and as a team, you know, we didn't really come what we wanted to. You know what I'm saying? So I learned a lot. Good and bad point. I learned a lot. I right. a lot. Right. What are you, when the teams interview you and, and ask you tough questions, what are some of the things that you're planning on saying on, you know, how, how things kind of went down? with the way you left Florida and, and grow your college career? Well, I'm going to just tell them that I wanted to isolate myself just for basketball and I just want to work on my profession. Just 100% focus on my profession and just basketball. Does it matter to you how high you get drafted in, in June? Um, it don't really matter. You know, I'm just going to work hard every day, as hard as I can. And then whatever happens, happens. Put everything through God. Hopefully he work it out for me. Right.